Have you noticed a difference in Islam? Has he changed any um, as far as, I mean, I'm not saying, trying to find something negative here, but maybe positive as well. Has, has he changed any in this growth of following in Habib's footsteps and then Habib retiring and then him having all the pressure on himself, him being a superstar? Um, has anything changed? Yeah, he, he's changed in abilities, but not as a person. Still the same guy. Right. So he hasn't let it got, got to his head or anything? and. No, not at all. Not at all. Still same, approachable, super nice guy. Doesn't think he's a star. Uh, just, just, just a great guy. It's the only thing about him that I notice is he's not big on interviews. You know, yeah, I've not noticed that too. <laughs> big on interviews. That's it. That's you know, that's uh, he'll do them when when he has to do them. But but uh, he's he's a shy guy. I don't think he feels comfortable the fact that uh, he can't speak English as well as he'd like. When he does uh, uh, Russian uh, interviews, he's more comfortable because he can convey what he wants to say. When he does English ones, it's a little hard for him because he can't convey the same. You know, he doesn't feel comfortable because he doesn't. There's words he can't put together that he wants to put together. So he's not as comfortable doing them. So his English needs to improve and his knowledge of the questions being asked to reply in English, it's hard for him. So he doesn't, he, he likes answering correct questions and it's a yeah. little difficult for him. He's told me that on, on numerous occasions that, that uh, coach, I have a problem with that. And uh, he, you know, he, he wants to come across well-spoken right. and, and, you know, and I understand that at times he doesn't, you know, it's like me, right? People want me to do uh, Spanish interviews. Uh, do you know how many I ignore? <laughs> wow. English <laughs> interviews. Oh yeah, no problem. Spanish yeah. interviews. I'll be honest with you. I've only done a few my whole life because I just don't feel comfortable right. because I just, you know, I'm Mexican and I can't even speak Spanish that well. Well, now, because you're telling everybody, but before that, they thought you were well, yeah, completely like singing salsa and well, I don't guess you sing salsa. <laughs> you dance salsa. <laughs> you eat salsa. Um, anyway, so, so um, yeah, so, so I understand that. And I want to say for the record that I did have probably one of the very few, if not only, uh, podcast with islam set up ready to go from you you set it up you made it happen or was going to make it happen and his freaking fight with rda fell through and it was like literally a day before we did the podcast so we were very very close so hats off for that thank you appreciate it and we'll get him eventually and i totally understand you got your career and you know when you're a top celebrity especially going up the ranks like he is you don't want to get taken out of context and the media is just waiting to take you out of context and, and they're just waiting for you to slip up and say something and it's very easy i think with a language barrier to say something you might not mean come across a little too arrogant come across a little insecure and then all of a sudden boom it's a headline and then so i, I, I totally get it i get it yeah I mean, he, he's the greatest guy. He really is. But he just, you know, like I said, he, he, he likes to be uncomfortable. And, uh, you know, he, he doesn't he doesn't like conveying things when he has to think about what he has to say. Right. He may say the wrong thing. Whereas Habib, Habib's the greatest at giving you, you know, uh, slogans that everybody still to this day yeah. uses. <laughs> Send me location, yeah. you know. Uh, bullshit Smash. guy, you know. I Number mean, uh, there's so much that I mean, I, I don't know one other MMA fighter that has more taglines than Abi. Yeah, he you just know, he has think a about book. It. You know, so he's fantastic in that department. Well, not everybody's Habib. You know, Islam, Islam is Islam, and and uh, you know, the only one I, I remember Islam saying that it was kind of cool. You can run, but you can't hide. Yeah, you know, and uh, but that's not a, that's not a new one. That's that's old. <laughs> but it's that. true when you're fighting in the UFC because you know what? At the end of the day, there's only one champion, and if he's headed toward the championship, so it's like you can run, but you can't hide. You're either not going to be a champion yeah. or and fight him and lose or win and beat him and become a champion, or you're just not going to be in, in in the in the mix at all. That's it. Like, yeah. so he's right about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Real quick. Real quick. Real quick. With Mike Swig. Real quick.